Would you dare to dip your hand in molten metal? Most people would say it's totally crazy, but not this guy. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. In fact, there's a whole host of weird and wonderful things out there that you'd struggle to believe are actually real, like this ghost heart, these alien looking eggs, or this guy's kick-ass 40-year-old dreads. Buckle up and prepare to be amazed as we take a look at some more things you're probably about to see for the first time in your life. First out the gate, the worm lizard. An animal so bizarre, no one could figure out whether it belonged to the worm family or the lizard family. So it ended up being named after both instead. With a body like an earthworm crossed with a mole, it kinda looks like a Pepto-Bismol colored stretchy putty with tiny drawn on eyes. These mysterious creatures are scientifically known as Amphisbenians, after the Greek serpent Amphisbenia, which had a second head on its tail. The worm lizard might not have two heads, but that doesn't make it any less strange. These so-called lizards are usually completely legless, but some species, like the Mexican vipes, have bizarre stunted arms at the front. Believe it or not, worm lizards are actually meat eaters, and despite their goofy appearance, they're actually pretty efficient when it comes to filling up on prey. The worm lizard lives its life underground, where it cleverly evades predators like birds and snakes, while also taking advantage of untapped resources like termites, ants, and other invertebrates that surface-dwelling lizards can't reach. In 2017, scientists at Worcester Polytechnic Institute found a surprising potential solution to a long-standing problem in efforts to repair damaged organs. In their study, published in the journal Biomaterials, they revealed how they successfully replicated working human heart muscle using spinach. Although scientists have already created large-scale human tissue in a lab using methods like 3D printing, the main limiting factor was the lack of a vascular network of small, delicate blood vessels, and that's where these leafy greens come in. If you turn a spinach leaf upside down, you'll see the branching network of thin veins that deliver water and nutrients to its cells underneath. By modifying a spinach leaf in the lab to remove its cells and leaving behind the cellulose frame, Scientists have used plant veins to replicate the way blood moves through human tissue. The team then bathed the plant frame in live human cells which grew on the spinach scaffolding and surrounded the tiny veins, basically turning it into a mini heart. They hope this research will eventually allow them to replace damaged tissue in patients who have suffered heart attacks or other cardiac issues. Popeye would be so proud. All this is really giving you some food for thought, huh? Speaking of thoughts, have you ever wondered what they actually look like? Check it out. What you're seeing here is a time lapse showing how fetal neurons make connections. These are specialist nerve cells which are crucial in wiring of the brain during early stages of development. Neurons are the basic working unit of the brain designed to transmit information to other nerve cells, muscles, and gland cells. The cell's body contains a bright spot, the nucleus, and an axon which extends from the cell body, giving rise to many smaller branches. Dendrites also extend from the neuron and receive messages from other neurons. These are covered with synapses formed by the ends of axons from other neurons. They are the contact points you see where one neuron communicates with another. When neurons receive or send messages, they transmit electrical impulses along their axons which can range in length from a tiny fraction of an inch or centimeter to three feet or more. The mammalian brain contains between 100 million and 100 billion neurons, depending on the species. If all that wasn't enough to blow your mind already, get this. While you're watching neurons making connections, your neurons are busy making the exact same kinds of connections. If you wanna really get those neurons working, why not give them a little job to do like, oh, well, I don't know, hitting that like and subscribe button. While you're there, hit that little bell icon too to make sure you stay in the loop with all the latest content. Alrighty, let's get back to it, shall we? Recuperating from surgery can be a tiresome process, but what if the whole thing could take place without interrupting your daily life? Picture this. Instead of going under the knife, you're handed a pill which, once swallowed, melts thanks to your natural body temperature to release a tiny robot within. Once inside, the robot will take on whichever role is necessary to complete the surgery before dissolving seamlessly and exiting your system. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, right? This is just one of the goals of the research team at Massachusetts Institute of Technology who dreamed up the one-of-a-kind origami robot. After joining forces with the Tokyo Institute of Technology, they realized that for a robot to be small enough to be swallowed, it would have to be flat. The solution was to design it using the traditional art of origami. 
Eventually, researchers arrived at a rectangular multifolded robot that can be shapeshift with the application of heat and be controlled by magnets to walk, roll, sail, and glide. Who knows, this micro robot could be the answer to a whole host of future problems. Believe it or not, lobsters are some of the most bizarre creatures on Earth. They taste with their legs, chew with their stomachs, and pee in each other's faces to communicate. But did you know that they have the power of regeneration too? Looks a bit like me trying to get out of my jeans after Christmas dinner. Unlike other animals that are soft-bodied and have skin like us, lobsters have hard exoskeletons in the form of shells which they shed multiple times throughout their lives. Before molting, a new shell is formed underneath and nutrients from the old shell are drawn back into the body before it splits. They begin this process as soon as they hatch, and by the time they reach adulthood, the average lobster has already shed its shell around 25 times. Best of all, every time a lobster molts, it has the chance to regenerate its body, which means if it has lost any legs or claws in the past, it can now regrow them Doctor Who style. If there's one thing humans could learn from hardworking honeybees, it's their incredible dedication to teamwork. The entire colony will work together to gather as much pollen and nectar in the least amount of time possible, and they have a special trick up their sleeve to speed up the process, the waggle dance. This fuzzy fella isn't just dancing for the fun of it, he's actually communicating the exact location of some sweet, sweet nectar. When a foraging honeybee discovers a potential food source, it's up to them to return to the colony and inform the others. Bees possess a finely tuned internal clock which allows them to constantly estimate the position of the sun in the sky, and they use this as a reference point when feeding information back to the hive. The waggle dance consists of a figure eight shape which communicates two key things. Firstly, the length of the middle line, called the waggle run, shows roughly how far it is to the flower patch. Bees also know which way is up and down inside the hive based on gravity, and they dance the waggle run at a specific angle away from straight up. The colony then looks at the position of the sun and fly at that same angle away from it. Pretty neat, right? Did you have any idea honeybees communicated by dancing their little butts off? They could certainly teach me a thing or two when it comes to hitting the dance floor. Do you know of any other amazing internet tidbits that you think need to be shared with the world? Let me know in the comments down below, or just send any footage or images you find online to clips at beamazed.com. You might just get yourself a shout out if it gets featured in the next episode. Speaking of teamwork, you'd probably be surprised to see humans and cormorant birds working in perfect tandem in China. This unlikely duo were filmed fishing together on the Li River in the Gongxi Zhang Autonomous Region. Cormorant fishing has been a tradition in these waters for thousands of years, and at sunset, fishermen will gather at the river on gaslit bamboo rafts with cormorants perched and ready to dive into the water to catch fish from the schools that swim below the surface. The bird is usually prevented from swallowing the fish by a ring placed around its neck, but for every seven fish caught, the cormorant gets to chow down on the eighth as a tasty reward. In fact, this has contributed to studies of bird intelligence as this behavior has shown that the cormorants on the Lee River are capable of counting to at least eight. Just imagine the things we could get done if we learned to work in harmony with some of the amazing animals the world has to offer. There are some pretty cool buildings in the world, but none are quite as jaw-dropping as the Libyan International Building in Guiyang, Southwest China, which has one thing most others don't, a giant man-made waterfall. This one-of-a-kind skyscraper is part of the Libyan International Plaza and stands 121 meters tall with a heart-stopping 108 meter high water feature built into its facade. The waterfall is operated by four pumps that feed from underground tanks containing rainwater and runoff. The unique feature is one of the largest artificial waterfalls in the world and the tallest to ever be incorporated into a building. Apparently, the architect wanted to create the tower to bring a feeling of water and nature to the city, even when you're surrounded by man-made skyscrapers. Because the waterfall costs about $120 to operate per hour, it's only used on special occasions, which is probably a good thing or the office workers inside would be peeing 24 seven. Freak weather can be frightening, but residents of Montemorelos in Mexico witnessed something extra freaky in May 2020 when the city was hit by a sudden storm of what locals described as coronavirus hail. Forget hailstones the size of tennis balls. These ice chunks had a far more sinister design with big crown-like spikes that closely resembled the makeup of the novel coronavirus. Locals branded the event a sign from the Almighty to stay home, but there's got to be another explanation, right? According to meteorologist Jose Miguel Vinyas, the peculiar shape is actually a pretty frequent occurrence in storms of magnitude. 
Inside a hailstorm, the hailstone will start off as a small spherical form and gradually accumulate layers of ice on top. During particularly strong storms when hailstones are already quite large and smashed together, many of them fuse, squashing each other and forming spikes of ice. Phew, that's one more thing 2020 could really do without. Speaking of freak weather, have you ever been fortunate enough to find yourself right on the edge of a rainstorm before? It's probably not something you've considered often, but rain doesn't just fall from the entire sky. It's all dependent on the weight of the moisture stored in the clouds above. We all know that it can be raining in one city and blue skies in the neighborhood next door, so it's entirely possible that you might find yourself precisely in that sweet spot where the rain ends, like in the middle of the street. Rain on just one side of a mountain is sometimes known as relief rain, but there's no real name for this strange phenomenon on flat terrain. It's just one of nature's amazing quirks. Have you ever wondered what dreadlocks would look like if you grew them for 40 years without ever cutting them? Well, wonder no more, my friends. Pretty incredible stuff, huh? This anonymous Rasta man has been dubbed the Jamaican Rapunzel for his awe-inspiring locks. His impressive hairdo was shared with the world by a man named Andre Chin, aka Chino Lynx, who went to Jamaica to visit his family, where he met the man who is his uncle's friend. For Rastafarians, growing dreadlocks is seen as a spiritual act because it is said in the Bible that thou shalt not make baldness on thy head. This kick-ass dude has been growing his dread since he was 15 and it takes him almost two minutes in this clip to unravel the locks entirely. What's even cooler is that you can literally see the aging in his hair from brown at the bottom to white at the top. That's like an entire life lived in his dreads. We know that Jesus could supposedly turn water into wine, but in March 2020, the people living in a small village near Medina in the northern region of Emilia Romanga, Italy, must have thought they'd unwillingly stepped into the Bible when this happened. At first, residents probably suspected that there was some sort of sewage malfunction, but as their faucets continued to flow pink, they could hardly mistake the sweet aroma of the locally produced Lambrusco Gasparasa wine. Unfortunately, this housewife's dream wasn't caused by a miracle, but by a technical fault in one of the silos at the nearby Setacani Winery, where the wine was leaking into its water pipes and flowing into the homes in the Castelvetro area. I don't know about you, but I'd be filling up buckets of the stuff before it was too late. Some might say Earth is one of the more boring looking planets, but what if it had rings instead? Believe it or not, scientists actually think the Earth may have looked something like this when a ring appeared early in the formation of the Earth's moon. In the mid-1970s, scientists proposed a new idea called the Giant Impactor Hypothesis, which explained that while the Earth was still forming around 4.45 billion years ago, a Mars-sized planet named Thea hit it at an angle. The impact threw debris into space from the Earth's mantle and overlying crust, and the impactor itself melted and merged with the Earth's interior while the hot debris coalesced to form the moon. At some point during this process, a ring of matter may also have formed around the Earth. The reason why we now have a moon instead of a ring is thanks to something called the Roche limit, which refers to the way the planet exerts a greater gravitational force on the side of the moon closest to it. That means that if a moon, ring, or other object has an orbital trajectory too close to a planet, the unequal gravitational pull could tear it apart because the Roche limit is the minimum distance an object can be from a planet to hold itself together by its own gravity. If this ring of debris had existed within the Roche limit, Earth might still have a ring instead of a moon, and the sky would probably look very different too. You'd be surprised how much you can learn from TikTok. Besides the endless dances and pranks, you can also come across some pretty mind-blowing stuff like this. Forget about satisfying house renovation videos, pond transformations are about to become my new addiction. But what kind of black magic is really going on here? The clip was shared by Melody Joy from Ohio, and despite its abnormally bright color, this type of pond dye is food grade, so it's completely safe for animal and marine life. In fact, this non-toxic product can even help plants like water milfoil, naiads, and pond weeds to grow. And it also reduces the growth of harmful algae. It's all fun and games for us humans until you jump in and come out looking like a smurf. Visiting an art gallery is a great first date idea, especially if you want to prove how cultured you are. But if you also want to show what a great sense of humor you have, why not switch things up and visit the Museum of Bad Art instead? If you're wondering what's inside, the clue is in the name, Bad Art. It may sound like a joke, but this museum actually exists in the form of three branches in Somerville, Brookline, and South Weymouth in Massachusetts. 
The MOBA was first established in 1994 when antique dealer Scott Wilson showed a painting he had recovered from the trash to some friends who suggested starting a collection. Nowadays, the museum houses a collection of some 800 pieces created by artists whose work could never be appreciated anywhere else. Don't go thinking you could submit any old tat to be featured, though. MOBA specifies that all work must be original and have serious intent, but they must also have significant flaws without being boring. Basically, they'll accept trash, just not any old trash. If there's one thing you're unlikely to ever see while you're still alive, it's your own organs. Thanks to science, we all know by now that a heart isn't actually heart-shaped, but have you ever seen a ghost heart before? No, this heart hasn't been dyed white or filled with milk. It's what your heart would look like without any blood cells, which leaves only the connective tissue behind. The process is called decellularization and refers to the way organs for potential transplants could be stripped of the donor's cells to reduce the chance of the recipient's body rejecting it. Researchers at the Texas Heart Institute created this heart by stripping all the living cells from a pig heart with a special detergent solution, which bursts the cells and leaves only the protein structure behind that could act as a successful scaffold for transplant surgeries. The ghost heart is then pumped full of hundreds of millions of human stem cells, which could be tailor-made using the patient's own cells. Scientists have already implanted tissue-engineered hearts into rats and pigs so far, and they hope this could be a real step forward in the field of human heart surgery. Picture this, you're innocently strolling along the beach one day when you stumble upon one of these. You'd probably think the global alien invasion finally arrived, but you'd be way off. That squirming little creature writhing around inside this strange amber pod is actually just an unhatched baby shark. I don't know if that makes them seem cuter or just even scarier. Like many fish and other oviparous animals like birds and most reptiles, most sharks like white-spotted bamboo sharks, epaulette sharks, and zebra sharks hatch from eggs. This unusual egg casing contains many of the vital amenities that support life while the yolk sac also provides nutrients for the mini shark until it is ready to emerge. All that wriggling actually helps stimulate the flow of oxygen between the egg and the surrounding water, which allows the babies to breathe as they grow. Unlike birds and many other egg-laying creatures, mom sharks don't stick around to watch their eggs hatch. Instead, the eggs have tendrils that attach to structures on the bottom of the seafloor like coral, rocks, or sponge. Once the baby shark is ready to defend itself, it will hatch, but occasionally the odd egg can become beached during high tide. Speaking of strange animal births, have you ever laid eyes on a pregnant chameleon before? Although many lizards lay eggs, some species of chameleon, like the Jackson's chameleon pictured here, differ greatly because they have live births instead. These species give birth to between eight to 30 young at one time after a gestation period of four to six months. Although the young are born live instead of in an egg, that doesn't mean they didn't begin life as one. In fact, these attentive mothers incubate the eggs, minus a shell, inside of her body instead of laying them in a nest. No matter what species, chameleons become mature at one to two years old. That is, except for the Madagascan chameleon which is the vertebrate with the world's shortest lifespan. Their eggs hatch in November, the young become adults in January, and lay eggs in February, and then the entire adult population dies after a three-month lifespan. They're here for a good time, not a long time, I guess. If you've got a taste for all things mind-blowing, why don't you give one of the previous episodes from this series a cheeky little watch? I'll put them on the screen for you now. And don't forget to write in to us at clips at beamazed.com with any more amazing things I should definitely see. And as always, thanks for watching.